We have new details tonight about drug abuse in the UP. Addiction, of course, is a disease that impacts hundreds of people here, millions across the nation. Over the pandemic, felony drug cases were on the rise, but the pandemic has also brought a shift in focus on the recovery of those affected by addiction. WZMQ Sophia Murphy checked in with local rehabilitation specialists to talk about the impacts addiction has on our community. Um, most people have a friend, family member, co-worker that is struggling. There's no specific population. Addiction is a disease and it can happen to anybody. Here in the UP, addiction and drug abuse has been a hot topic for years now. Cassandra Sierra is the outpatient coordinator at the Great Lakes Recovery Center, and she says that with the increase in mental health issues and drug use, more and more people are reaching out for help. And we need to start um, understanding that and, um, you know, welcoming the idea that um, anybody can be susceptible to it and anybody can reach out for help, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it should be normalized. According to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, 20.4 million people were diagnosed with substance use disorders last year. Matt Weesey is the Marquette County Prosecutor, and he says that they've seen an increase in drug abuse and trafficking in his office as well. Well, methamphetamine has been a huge problem over the last five years, and we saw our case numbers go up from double digits to triple digits to last year we had 900 or more methamphetamine felony cases. The Upper Peninsula Substance Enforcement Team said that the issue with many of these drugs is that the cost in the UP is higher than it is in larger cities like Chicago or Detroit. This can motivate drug traffickers to travel to sell their product at a higher price. While the police are focused on prosecuting drug traffickers, for users and addicts, the focus is on recovery. Our goal isn't to arrest everybody. It's to try to arrest those dealers that are selling a lot of drugs across the Upper Peninsula and try to make sure that we get those users into a good good program that helps them get off drugs and live to have a healthy lifestyle. Weesey says his office is working with law enforcement to form ways to help those affected by addiction. The county prosecutor's office is working on a jail deferral program that would place people in treatment facilities rather than sending them through the criminal justice system. There are treatment options available for, for folks that um, are addicted to controlled substances and we actually would prefer that people go through that process instead of the criminal justice system. Sierra says she understands it's easy to label those you don't know, but she hopes people will understand that these are everyday, normal individuals who are struggling with addiction. When it comes down to it, addiction doesn't discriminate. And that is um, the difficult thing about that. I think, you know, the world has created this identity for people who struggle with addiction. Mm -hmm. And in reality, it could be anybody. For more information on available resources, you can contact the Great Lakes Recovery Center to get help. Sophia Murphy, WZMQ, TV19 Marquette.